so here I sign our PIP controller. This is our P, I, and our second P. The second P works as um, our D in the PID controller. This is our set point and the current ink in above. And if we set it to something, it will follow. <coughs> the PIP controller is more efficient than uh, the PID controller. <coughs> if you set up the PIP factors, uh, good. I'm going to show you the block diagram for this. And run through it. This is our second P, which compares a set point to the Google speed. So this is an input to the PIP controller. That's a feedback, and we have a current engine here, which is our second feedback. So we have two feedbacks in a PIP controller. In a PID controller, you only have one feedback. So it's preferable with this one. This loop over here will run four times before this loop will run uh, one time. This is called the inner loop and the outer loop here. You can't see it right now because it's false. This has to run four times before this will appear again. And <coughs> Instead of deciding the an angle you want to fly to, you decide a speed that you want to achieve here. So you get find a, uh, uh, a speed instead of the angel angle.